Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Military Airfield. Hope you guys are still having fun and enjoying it. We are on episode 8, 9, 10. We should be on episode 10 I believe. And uh, if, if you are lost, we are building the control tower. Uh, last episode was very, very simple. Everything was very straight forward, so we skipped through a lot of things and fast forwarded and uh, got this part of the tower up thing. It looks really, really good so far. Keeping the theme along the military airfield uh, with the sandstone and the nether brick and the bricks. So we're going to build in the next layer. We should be able to finish this top section in this episode, I am hoping. And uh, I did not start my timer, but I'm looking down at the clock to see what time it is. <laughs> and hopefully I can uh, keep an eye on it. We will answer some questions in this episode. So stick around. should be good. All right, let's grab our brick. We're going to build right up on top of this. This is where we left off last time. We're going to put one more layer of brick around the top, just like this. And there's going to be a walking platform just to the outside of this layer. I knocked down my render distance a shit ton. And we should not have uh, much lag in this one, so you can see I like, can't even see the other uh, the other runway now. Probably going to get a couple little glitches, but it shouldn't be nowhere near as bad as it was. All right, so on the outside of this, uh, we're going to put I think uh, slabs. So just cover this up and come in by one. Again, I will put a picture on the screen to what we're building. It's a pretty simple build, and I've already got in my mind uh, a really good idea of how I want to do this. Um, so I should be moving along quite rapidly, and hopefully you guys should be able to follow along. Again, last place we left off, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then brick on top. So picking up again where the last episode was. We're going to go to the inside, and I'm going to build up the centerpiece. Uh, let's go ahead and outline the brick first. That way I've got something to build off from. Now this piece here in the middle, uh, if we again look at the picture, uh, is not the same shape as the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in by, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the front five wide. So one, two, three, four, five. And then, well, let's see. There will be a door right here going out onto the balcony. I'm going to skip a corner piece and then I'm going to come out by one and then go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, and let's see, five, okay, five, and I think I'm going to move this forward. Let's bring this out by one, two, and then put this one here just like that and then one two, three, four, five, six, seven. That way I can get a little bit longer going this way. I don't want it five by five. I want to keep, yeah, I want to keep that length and that, that width separated. So we'll just use that corner, one, two, three, four, five, and that corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to there. And that'll give us that, that kind of rounded shape going up. And we're just going to build that up, I think, by two around the outside and first question is going to come from Lich Wolfgang uh, very very active around my channel and I uh, really really appreciate it buddy uh, his question is I know I've already asked this on Twitter but I was also curious uh, to know exactly what got you interested in the sport of golf um, <laughs> uh, that's that that's a good question I never really liked golf I'm gonna go ahead and put another brick around the uh, the top of this to trim out the next section um, Never really liked golf. Uh, never actually really been into sports my whole life. Uh, never really followed football or baseball or anything like that. I guess I uh, was always just a weird person. Um, but the guys that I work with, uh, they play golf. I think I need some little windows right here. Uh, let's go up one, two, and then over two. Right there. Let's put in some windows right there. Uh, but anyways, the, uh, the guys that I work with, uh, were worked with at the time, uh, they all golfed, and they kept you know telling me to you know go out with them, go you know go golf with them. I'm just gonna put some uh, uh, blue on top right here. Um, 
so they wanted me to uh, go out golfing with them, and I did, and I, I was instantly I was instantly hooked. <laughs> I always thought it was a stupid sport, um, hit a ball and then chase it, and then hit a ball and chase it, um, but it's actually very very addicting. Um, so that's how I got into golf, and now I play at least once a week. I'm looking at my other picture. I'm trying to pull it back up and get an idea of what I want to do uh, around the outside. I want to angle this glass coming out kind of like I do on my ships. So I think I'm just going to come out and just trace the outside just like that. So anyways, let's that is how I got interested in golf. And now I play about once a week, uh, at least once a week. Uh, I have played twice a week and sometime I, sometimes I have played uh, 36 holes uh, in one day, which will wear you the hell out. Um, so yeah, you can say I, I, I'm uh, an, avid, an, an, an avid golfer now. And we're going to build this up by two. Uh, something that probably goes along with that. Uh, what do I shoot? Uh, my last game I actually shot a 70, which is really, really fucking good. Um, if you know anything about golf, that's that's a pretty damn good game. Uh, but we was uh, in a golf league at work, and we was playing the same course for the past eight weeks, and uh, really got to <laughs> got to know the course pretty good and uh, played very well. If I play another course, usually I shoot in the 80s, uh, which is pretty good for playing for about f I think four or five years. I've been playing. Uh, so, anyways, that's that's the golf stuff <laughs> anyways so now we have a top uh, on it just like that this is uh, obviously where they're gonna be able to look out I think I like the blue glass I think it looks pretty good I think we're gonna stick with that um, and then we're gonna go ahead and cap this off so let's go back to the brick and cover up this and we're gonna work the top section out so it looks like it's kind of angled again with the glass we're just going to cover this up just like that and we're going to do the brick one more time the same way we did the glass we're just going to trace the outside okay, so this is a pretty redundant pattern that I've used on on several different things um, it's pretty basic but it looks good and it works for uh, control towers so uh, I've used it on my carriers and I'm going to use it on this. And I think it looks just fine. And one more right there. I think that looks good. All right, and I think is what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some stairs on the outsides of this. And I'm going to wrap this around. And we're going to take another question uh, again from, uh, let's see, Preston Wade, another very, very active person around the channel. Uh, he asked, what kind of firearms do I own? Uh, at the time, I just have a shotgun and a, just a, a pistol, uh, and I'm not even sure exactly anything about it, because it's, it's actually not mine, it's my girlfriend's. <laughs> uh, I, I don't actually own any weapons right now, and it's probably a good thing, because I'm a very angry person. <laughs> Jag would probably shoot somebody. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Please, somebody don't fucking turn me in. Um... <laughs> But no, uh, I, I did have some weapons when I was in the Navy. I had a, a Mossberg 500, uh, and I had a, oh, what did I have? I had a 9mm Glock uh, when I was in the Navy, and I ended up selling those when I got out. Um, and I just, I never got any weapons uh, when, I, when I got out of the Navy. I had a rifle that I, that I hunted with, um, and I don't remember the brand on it, but it was a 30 uh, odd 6 and uh that's what I hunted with, and I don't even have that anymore, so I sold that. And my girlfriend, she's got um, a pistol and some shotguns, which were her daddy's, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some slabs underneath this. Um, so that's the only guns that are actually in the house right now, and I have not actually shot a gun uh, in probably <laughs> uh, 10 years or better. Um, I just I haven't had time and it just I don't know I'm just not an enthusiast again uh, when it when it comes to weapons uh, not that I don't like them I just I don't know I just don't don't have any <laughs> someday I will get some more uh, anyways we need a bigger ledge right here so we're gonna grab the slabs again and this will give us something to put um, our railing around so I'm just gonna trim this out 
one more, and I'm sure I'll put another corner piece in in just a second. I just I don't want to get confused. Brick, some of the stuff that blends in really good, uh, it's really easy to get confused where everything is. So let me lay that out first. Put that there and one right there and then trim out with our fence post. Let me check the video again, see if I've got some more questions. All right, and I'm on episode three is where I'm pulling the questions from. Ground Fighter One uh, says, hey Jag, topic idea, your military career and accomplishments. Some of us vets would probably like to hear another service member's history, but if I'm not comfortable discussing it, no big deal. Um, and I, I did kind of partially respond back to him. Uh, basically saying uh, I was in for four years and didn't really get to do a lot that I really wanted to do and hoped to do. Um, I was in uh, dry dock with the Enterprise so when I first got there I spent a lot of time on the ship rehabbing it, painting, chipping, grinding, all that fun stuff, getting the ship back seaworthy. Um, and then we went out and we were doing sea trials and shakedown cruises and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't really get to do any kind of overseas stuff um, they went out just as I got out, um, and I missed like the big med cruises and stuff like that. But I did get to go to Puerto Rico, uh, and I went out to Fallon, Nevada for some bomb buildup um, training classes, uh, which was really, really awesome. Had a fun time, and there's some interesting stuff and funny stuff that I can tell. Uh, probably in another episode, I will elaborate a little bit more on that. Uh, so ground fighter, I am sure I will cover some, uh, several different stories from when I was in the Navy. So just in general, um, kind of gives you an idea of you know what I did. I uh, built bombs and assembled missiles. Uh, I obviously worked on a carrier. Those that follow the uh, follow my channel already know that. And I'm sure I will elaborate a lot more on that in this series so uh, I don't want to blow my wad so to speak um, right off the bat um, so I will throw in some stories here and there uh, I'm gonna make the top out of nether brick and so I'm just gonna fill this in but again thank you guys for the questions from episode 3 I don't think there's anything else from episode 3 I'm just gonna scroll through it real quick uh, do, 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 uh, nope, that was pretty much it from episode three. Again, really, really appreciate the questions, guys. I will pull from episode four on the next episode. So I'm just going to continue building this in, and we're going to finish up the tower and get the next, the bottom floor in, and tidy things up. And then on the third episode, put in probably some parking lots. Again, I may even do that off camera, like I did uh, on the last build, and we will have a schematic, and then the tower will be finished. Like I said, really, really easy, really, really fast build. Uh, control, control towers I don't think are really that difficult to build. The biggest thing about them is getting the scale correct. Uh, so anyways, that that is that. I think it looks pretty good. Now we're going to put some, some satellite type equipment or radar stuff on the top. And I'm not going to go really, really elaborate with this either. Uh, let's see, I think I want to use yellow. And I want to put a little flag on the top, a little like a little windsock. And I'm going to step uh, cobblestone walls. I think right here, one, one, two, probably three. Is that going to be high enough? I'm going to go on each corner. One, two, three. Is that right? No, nope, back one. So right here, one, two, three, and then here, and right here, right there. And then I'm going to put the, let's see, some antenna stuff. One, two, three, four. I think it's a good number. Two, two, three, and four. The lag has been so much better in this episode. Uh, much happier now. Get a little bit when I look back toward the trees, but uh, it was it's a lot better than it was on the last episode. That's for damn sure. All right, uh, one of these is going to be... Uh, a radar type thing and I'm just gonna go really really simplistic here guys um, not going to be really really elaborate and probably won't do a lot of detail on it either BAM <laughs> really really simple and then same thing with a windsock we're gonna put that over here on this side and uh, I think the wind is gonna be blowing from north, south east to west so I'm just gonna put a couple blocks here too bring it out by two 
back by one, go back by two, and there is a simple, simple windsock. Awesome. All right, let's go in here and we're gonna set up for the, uh, the main floor and finish this part of the build off. All right, so we need to drop down to this floor right here. And I need to run up the next set of stairs. So let me grab those and we're gonna go over here like we've been doing one two three and we're gonna put the stairs in right here and just run them up two oops three and that brick's in the way what's what's up with that brick may have to change that out may have to change that out. I don't think I'm gonna see that from the outside anyways I'll check here in just a minute there's that one that one and then that one that run, runs us right into the corner I may have to back those up one yeah I think I'm gonna have to back those up because otherwise I'm gonna hit that corner and I won't be able to turn so let's back these up one more let's right let's go right here one two three four five and let's see let's change these out oh, you're gonna see that hmm all right, well, I think we'll change this out. Let's go back and let's go outside and take a look at this. I think, I think, I think, yeah, we're going to have to change this out all the way around. And let's see, do I want to change it here in the corners? I don't need to change that in the corners. I'm just going to have to change it right here where the main, have yeah, fuck. I'm going to have to change it, ain't I? Ain't I? <laughs> Again. Nice English jag, ain't I? All right, well, let's go ahead and change this out. That didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, uh, well. I wanted to have a little trim piece under under the edge. And actually, I might, I might put some slabs under here like I did on the other one. Let's take a look at it here in just a second. Go around here. Yeah, that definitely needs some slabs. That needs some some bracing underneath. So let's go ahead and put that in. Just like that. That looks better. And actually, yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, let's go back on the inside. Finish these stairs up. And this will give us enough room to make a turn right here onto the next floor so that 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 worked out good that worked out much better uh, I can't get rid of these because that's my little corner pieces I finished filling in the floor right here all right that way we can walk out onto the balcony here and walk around not real crazy about this I can oh I can change that back now because I put in them trim pieces cool 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 all right, because otherwise that looked like complete shit. So that did work out like I wanted it to. Good damn deal. All right, and back inside, and then we're gonna have another floor right here. And this is going to be a little bit shorter, so let's grab some of these. And let's see, we're gonna come up. There's the front door here. I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go right here in the corner. So let's. Put three bricks like that, put a set of stairs, and this should get us above the door. Just like that. And then go back to the nether brick, and that's what I'm gonna, do I wanna do full, or do I wanna do slabs? I think, I think, I think I wanna do slabs. Let's do slabs here instead of a full, otherwise, uh, It'll make it feel like I've got more room down here. If I use full bricks, it's gonna I'm gonna feel like I'm hitting my head. So I'm gonna use slabs up here. That that'll that'll work out good. That'll work out good. I'm, I think, and we can still build off of that to put in uh, some control tower type stuff up here. And I'm again not gonna go real real elaborate on the decorating. You guys can do it, and we'll do just like we did the other one. Um, if you got a really good design and I like it, I will use it and shout you out for using the interior. All right, so that works there. Do I want to put a corner post in? 
no, because my no, because it won't connect right if I if I do that. I'll have to do this. But I can hide these. But I can't hide that. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. We're just gonna have to leave this. Again, it's a control tower. It doesn't have to be super, super fancy. I think that that works good. Now we can see out on the runway really nice. And I'm going to punch a hole right in the middle. Is that the middle? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. And we're going to take run one. I think this is where I'm going to use uh, gray wool. Or do I want to keep with another brick? might just stay with another brick and go on the back side just like this and then grab our ladder put a ladder up that way we can get up to the top just like that and I think that's I think that's good enough guys uh, again you can fill in right here with let's see some gray wool or some wood chest or something and I'm just gonna lace something in here so that you guys can use it for a reference point uh, for putting in some control tower type stuff with radio equipment and stuff like that. Uh, I wouldn't block the front glass or the side glass over here that way you can see out of it um, and I would leave this open maybe put in a, a chair or something here uh, with some little laptop type looking things and maybe even maybe even up in here and then you can fill in the ceiling with the nether brick like this actually I'll go ahead and do this part <laughs> and then this tower will be done really really simple easy fun build hopefully you guys followed along on this one and this will cover up the brick and trim out really nicely and leave that hole. Oops, am I falling down? I am falling down. <laughs> One more right there. And there. What am I hitting? Oh. There we go. And now we can go up and down the stairs to the top. And I guess you could put something up here. And then maybe even a trap door. Let's put a trap door in there. Let's see what that looks like. Where is my trap door? Oh, uh, let's see. There they are. Let's put one of those right there. Awesome. That works good. All right, that is the control tower. Can I get out of here? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's fly back and take a look at it. I think that looks pretty much like the picture. It's not real, real fancy. Um, but that's it. There's not much to it. <laughs> um, I think we will put some, maybe we'll put some buildings or something around the bottom. So I just like this being only like two episodes. Maybe we'll try to make it three, four, maybe let's try four or five episodes on the control tower area. Uh, so I'll put in some parking areas. I'll bring that road up off camera, uh, put in a parking area and figure out where to put um, some more admin type buildings sticking with the uh, the sandstone and the brick and another brick look we're gonna have some buildings back in here so one more episode on the buildings and have yeah, three or four episodes that should do it so anyways yeah that's awesome I think it turned out really good uh, like always guys I really really appreciate the questions keep them coming gives me something to kind of ramble and babble about uh, while we build through this enormous amount of area that uh, we need to fill up uh, like always, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.